How's it going everyone? This is your stimulus package update for Thursday, May 21. And I want to provide an update because I haven't provided one in a while. So I'm just gonna walk through what's happened over the last week or so. Since the House passed the last stimulus bill, it is now in the Senate and then it will go up to Trump if it passes through the Senate. There is some debate on whether it will go through. A lot of people think that it's not going to and I don't think they will go through in its current form either. I think this probably is the bill that will go through eventually, but I think it has to be revised before it gets sent all the way through, and I'll walk through that and kind of a couple other things that have happened. So if you don't mind hitting that like button just to help out the channel, and hitting the subscribe button too if you haven't done that, because I'm gonna provide more stimulus updates along with my normal investing type videos. So the bill went through the house about a week ago, and now it could be about half a week to a week before we hear anything else on it. The Senate still has to vote on it and they won't really start talking about it until they come back from Memorial Day. So it will be about four or five days from now until they start looking at it. And then if they actually were to pass it, it could be a week or two after that. And then it could be a while before you get your stimulus checks. So like I said, I think there's going to have to be some revision in it. There was no information about payroll tax deductions, which is really what Trump wants which are to reduce your FICA taxes. And there also is no information about business insurance, and that's something that the Republicans really want. So if you open up your company, you can't be sued if someone gets the virus in your company or as a customer of your company. So they are probably gonna have to put both of those in, or at least the business insurance, because I think a lot of people will be worried about reopening if there is that threat of being sued because of the virus. Now, there was also information about the $1,200 check, which is what a lot of people wanna know. Is there gonna be another stimulus check? Is there gonna be more stimulus money? And the plan did have information about the $1,200 stimulus, and it included $1,200 for everyone that got it before, and then also dependents now would count as $1,200, not $500. So if you have a child that is written as a dependent on your taxes, say they're 20 years old, but you still claim them, well, now you will get $1,200 for them up till three children. So you could get up to $6,000 as a family. So that's a pretty significant amount of money for a lot of people. When you think that the average American salary for a family or the average annual income for a family is right around 60 to 65,000, that's about 10% of your annual income. So that's a pretty significant amount. Those are untaxed also. So really it's even more than 10%. But there was a plan that was introduced recently and it was bipartisan from the Senate. So a lot of people think of the House as just like the lower level children and the Senate as the adults, which it's probably harder to become a senator, let's be honest, there are two from each state. So they introduced a bill from two Senate Democrats and two Senate Republicans, and this was for a $4,000 tax credit for continued education. This is only for those that kind of lost their job in the downturn here. I don't know if that would count for self-employed also, so if you had a side gig and you couldn't do your side gig, if this would count towards that, but it's essentially that if you went back and continued your education, either with some certification program or college or something like that, you could get a $4,000 tax credit. Now, uh, there's been some controversy on this. I think that it would be really good for the long term if they did this because it would provide people with more training and a better skill set than what they have now, especially because when we go through any of these downturns and people lose their jobs, they get worse at their jobs, right? So they aren't brushing up on their skills. So the economy kind of slumps when they come back because they're not as efficient as they used to be, which slows down the economy. So if they can go and continue education, get better at some kind of skill, that would definitely help out. I think that would be awesome if I could get that too. I mean, that would be an awesome way to continue my education. I'm already continuing my education, so if for some reason, if I could get that because my business didn't do as much work as they typically do or as we typically do, that would be awesome. I would love to be able to get that $4,000, but I think that it would cause a little bit of an issue because a lot of people weren't laid off, but maybe they've 
gotten paid less or maybe they weren't paid less at all, but they want some of the stimulus. And if this was only provided to the people that lost their jobs, a lot of people would be upset with that. And it would also take a while to see the rewards of this. If they are talking about tax credit, I assume then that you would only see it at the end of the year once you do your taxes. But if you're laid off right now, do you really want to spend $4,000 to go back to school when you have no income coming in? I don't think so. I think that a lot of people would be nervous because really the only people that could afford this were people that had a larger sum of money at the beginning of this. And a lot of them probably don't have issues right now just because they have had money and possibly they had really high paying jobs. So I don't see a world where people will take advantage of this as much as they should unless there's some way to like put it on a prepaid card or something and then it's only used for education so then you can only put education on the card or something like that or a certification program but I'm sure there are people that try to get around that too. So we'll see where that goes. I could imagine maybe a mixture of that and a stimulus check so everyone's happy because I think you need to stimulate the economy by getting people to spend money and I don't think that will necessarily happen with that $4,000 tax credit. Now this other bill that was passed by the House also contains a variety of other stimulus from rent and mortgage cancellation or forbearance to unemployment benefit extension because those were supposed to stop in July and now it's going to be pushed through January 2021. There's more funding to state and local governments that really need it and are on the verge of bankruptcy and just really low budgets. There's also more money for the EIDL grants and EIDL loans and the PPP program, which is very much needed. And I think that there's a variety of other stimulus in there too, from some student loan forgiveness, but there's just so much there. I'm not going to unpack it all right here. So just know that there are probably a couple different ways that you can take advantage of that stimulus bill if it goes through and not just the $1,200 check. So in addition to that, this week there was some talk about these EIP cards, the economic impact cards, which were these debit cards that were produced by the government. They're being sent to a couple different cities, I believe Austin and then one other city, and they are essentially prepaid cards that people are getting their stimulus on. And a lot of people were wondering, well, is this a sign that they're going to put further like monthly payments on these cards for Americans so that way we can spend every month and they don't have to keep on sending out checks. And the government came out and said that that's not necessarily what it's for. They're just saying it's safer and it's a quicker thing to use than checks so they don't have to print out the checks and send it via mail. They can just send out the card and then you can activate it. And it has a lot of the protections of a credit card or debit card. So they're saying that this is really just kind of a test to try out this program for either this in the future, but especially for some kind of tax refunds that they can put on the cards. So that makes sense. I think a lot of people got excited about that and maybe were let down a little bit when they heard about what the government's saying that they're going to be used for. But that is the stimulus package update for today. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Please, again, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. That way you can get more of these videos, and I'll update you with anything that I think is breaking or important or just like this where I haven't updated you in maybe half a week to a week. So I'll just give you the update of all the little things that have happened over the last week. And I appreciate it. I will see you in the next video.